Bangladeshis here in Jackson Heights seem determined to exercise their democratic right to vote despite this setback. Asma Akond runs a jewellery store off 74th Street. She is all set to vote on Tuesday despite there being no Bengali on the ballot paper. Amid concerns that the elderly community will struggle with the language barrier, Akon says the older generation should not be underestimated. They don't understand English very well, but they are going and they're trying to vote for the Bangladeshi people. You know, the older people is citizens, senior citizens. If they can go there and they put the, uh, some young people help them and they voted. Ghazi Shams Uddin is a local restaurant owner here in Jackson Heights. Between cups of milky chai tea, he says he's not concerned about Bengali being unavailable on the ballots. New generation of our community, they have no problem the language. Old people who come from Bangladesh newly, they have some problem. But uh, the new generation, their young generation of our community, they don't have any problem. Bangladeshis are passionate about their language and it is an important part of their culture. The 1970 war with Pakistan was a struggle both for independence and the right to speak Bengali. Although proud of his mother tongue, Shamsundin thinks it's important for youngsters to embrace the English language and get involved in American society. Long time ago, uh, we were uh, in Bangladesh uh, citizen. Now we are Bangladesh uh, American citizen, right? And our children born here, they are, they will not think about the Bangladesh. Bangladesh. They they are proud that you are their U.S. citizen. Giyash Ahmed is the president of the American Bangladesh Chamber of Commerce. He is active in U.S. politics and even ran for New York State Senator in 2002. He says that the Bangladeshi community has prepared for the language barriers. I believe uh, this is not the issue, but uh, even that we have volunteer in, in the, in the uh, school and the center. And if, if someone doesn't even speak English, uh, the volunteer you know, help them, they're helpful. Ahmed says it is more important to get the word out, whether that word is in Bengali or English. We have to get involved in American politics. Without being involved in American mainstream politics, we wouldn't be able to survive in this country. As you can see, Bangladeshis here in Jackson Heights will still be coming out to vote on Tuesday, even though their native language, Bangla, is not just yet on the ballots. Charlotte Stafford, Columbia Television News.